11.32 a.m. Thursday 22nd of August my psychic diary it's a beautiful location here perfect perfect location so this gives us a feel of the energy today it's always an indication of the energy to watch people to watch movement what kind of what kind of characteristics do we see what let's say okay so Thursday, 22nd of August, 2024, 11.33 a.m. Psychic Diary. There's a lot of things going on. And everything is in constant flux. Phasing. Changing resonating the timing of the sun the timing of the moon the timing of the wind the timing of the trees the timing of all these different energies which combined place us right here this location in space-time at this time in space and at this space in time <clears throat> so these are these are some tools I've been using to uh, develop my psychic ability they have been very useful as there is obviously a relationship between the electromagnetic energies of the body and the electromagnetic energies of the earth so doing this in the morning it's sort of given me an indication of what the energy is like today which direction best suit would best suit me would it best suit me to head in today so it's just a tool okay I don't want to get uh, we don't want to get attached to, to tools. Really the ultimate tool, it's the body-mind, the soul, the spirit. And there's certain ways to, to fine-tune that. What I've been doing recently is fine-tuning my sleep and awake cycle to be able to apply meditation not in the misunderstood imaginary imaginary fa fantastical you know mindfulness visualize a sunny day on a, on a nice beach because then you're still you're still engaging with the the normal brain okay yeah there's different brainwave states of course you know but what is it that exists between one thought and the next thought the space between is that we want to we want to open that up and the way to do that it's not the 
right brain or the left brain, it's to synchronize the waveforms from both so that they kind of cancel each other, basically cancel each other out. All this electric energy that you that was up here, it now is able to ground. And now I open up this space that is kind of what the third eye is. It's the space through which we can through which we can uh, open up this mind power perception. There's just a lot of hurdles. Uh, in the way for uh, a lot of us today you know there's a lot of things that have been thrown in the way when people tell themselves when we tell ourselves I have anxiety or I need antidepressants I need to drink alcohol I need I need to smoke weed I need to drink coffee every single day. Okay, we can have have fun once in a while. We can we can try some of these things once in a while, but what is the intent behind it? You know, what is you have to question yourself, what is the intent behind it? What is the what is the purpose? Are you doing it for the right reasons? What would be a good reason to have a glass of wine? What would be a good reason to smoke some weed? I'm sure there are, but uh, how do you cultivate? How do you actually? How do we actually cultivate our psychic ability? So of course I've tried all these things in the past, you know. But the question is, how do how do you like? How can I get high on my own supply, so to speak, you know? How do I get high on my own supply? But what's the definition of high? What, what, is, what are we actually talking about? We're talking about when the certain perception is, is opened up. And we can do that by adjust by fine-tuning various lifestyle parameters. Such that we're able to we're able to distinguish yin and yang on 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 different levels. And now we're at, we 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 perceive the interchange between them. And now we have the ability to choose which mode of operation we would like to operate in. We're not pulled to this, that or the other because we have we have distinguished we have distinguished it on on a fundamental level. Yeah. <clears throat>